Hi everyone, welcome to Otaku Saga. I'm DK. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Zero. And today in Anime Reaction, we watch episode 10 of Kumamiko. Please support the official release. We now return you to your regularly scheduled idiots. Ding! If you want to check out our reaction for the 10th episode of Kuma Miko, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section because we love hearing from you. As always, if you like what you see, subscribe to the Taco Saga and don't forget to like and share our videos. Do it for the demo. Do it for the dumb. Momo! <laughs> so on this episode of Kuma Miko, um, we definitely had a two-parter, so the, the, mm -hmm. the episode was definitely split into different sections. An A yeah. and B, for sure. An a, definitely A and B part. Uh, in part A, Machi wanted a cell phone. Even though they get no reception in their village. And the models are severely outdated. Well, you see that a lot in anime, in general. Uh, true, anyway. true, true. Um, it might just be easier. Yeah. Well... You know, I uh, I actually saw this thing about kind of about the technology that you see in media, especially like anime or manga. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you'll see what the technology was when the creator was younger. Ah. So like uh, m most of the time when they show like a fan, you'll see the old, old metal thing. grade fan. Right. Rather than uh, you know what you normally see nowadays, like that uh, playlist fan in Koryo Zombie Disco. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So sometimes you'll get a series that shows newer technology, but a lot of times it's the older stuff. Yeah, but if you're or, or the big one that you always see is just flip phones. Flip phones. Which, is, granted, they did have a longer period of popularity in Japan than they did here. Mm-hmm. But uh, you still see them uh, very prevalent in anime. Mm, okay. Okay. That is actually pretty. So no, again, it's also not surprising for this series because they're out in the boonies. So they yeah. probably don't have the latest smartphones. But yeah, Machi gets a new phone. And then we get our Machi abuse. <laughs> oh. Outfit number two makes its debut finally. How about the idol otaku? Oh my god. Oh, I thought you were gonna I thought you were gonna go on the um Yoshio trying to undress Machi. And well, then, yeah, that, I was trying to avoid that, but <laughs> a little rapey again. But hey, this they, time, this, this time he gets his uh, beaten just desserts. <laughs> gets a nice lump on the head. Well, actually, Natsu uh, sort of explains, for lack of a better term, the logic behind Yoshio's actions. It's like he views Machi more as a pet. And uh, yeah, being around some uh, pet owners, I kind of, I know, it, it won't hold up in court at all, but I, <laughs> yeah. If you're warped enough to think like that, I can sort of see it, but yeah. <laughs> but the but yeah basically, he, he doesn't view what he does as sexual at all. Yeah. It's just. Un in fact, I'm not even sure if he knows what sex is. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest here. Oof. That guy is nice. That was a burn. Am I wrong? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I also think that he's part uh, part idol otaku. Yeah, perhaps. He does seem to want to use Machi as an idol a lot. A lot. In understatement. That is true. Whenever he can, really. But this time he finally forced her onto the stage. <laughs> just, just the one shot of her just like fading away with the sand in the desert. <laughs> Beautiful metaphor. Just like, ah, I'm not here right now. Peace. <laughs> but yeah, so I think those idol otaku were hired by Yoshio to show up there. Because at, mm. towards the end of the episode, they were like, yeah. okay, we gotta go to the next event. event. You're up here in the woods. I mean, <laughs> dang, how many events are going on in these little villages, huh? Well, hmm. I don't know. I think what happened was um, Yoshio posted the pictures of Machi that he took uh, up on some forum website, and three people actually showed up. She actually has a small fan club, if that's the case. 
Because they certainly acted like avid fans. Hmm. So if uh, any of our viewers kind of know uh, more or less how the dynamics of idol fan clubs work, if they work, uh, as Rizzo said, leave a comment about it. Because I'm a little curious. Morbidly curious. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can find that you can find that uh, with any type of fan base. Yeah. Hop on Reddit, you'll find a fan base. True. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. So uh, next time it looks like some more macho abuse because they're going into the city. Oh shit! Here we go. Macho might be going into the city. Oh, this ought to be good. Oh, this and probably as an idol. Oh, oh, oh man! Because because like at the very end, he was like, "Why am I an idol?" And then cut. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> Monty in the city as an idol. That's oh. all for this time on Anime Reaction. As always, I'm Rizzo. Right, I'm Zero. I'm DK. See, See you, you next time. time. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> <laughs>